<laughs> How y'all doing? I'm the Watchman, and this video right here is dealing with the subject of ISIS. You know, I, when I first heard about it, when I first heard about this group, <laughs> I immediately, you know, red flags all men went boom, boom, boom. I immediately uh, knew it was false flag. You know, they need another enemy to have an excuse to be over in Iraq and Afghanistan, you know, and this is UN funded by big bankers and corporations. This is their their model to a T. The uh you know we were even foolish enough to believe that bin Laden was killed by the troops. When the truth is if you listen to an interview by Benzir Bhutto, she was uh, either the president, I want to say the president of Pakistan uh, or the prime minister, but before she was murdered, she was shot in the head three months after giving this interview where she said her man killed Bin Laden a couple years before we claim we did. Now, some people might be asking, Josh, why are you doing this video? Well, you know, as, as being a watchman, and we're all called to be watchmen. If I truly love my brothers and sisters, if I see a trap laying ahead and I see it's clear and I don't warn you, then how much can I say I love you? But anyway, I have proof. And I'm going to let this prove you. You settle with the proof. You think about what you're doing. To, about uh, I'll let you deal with it. I'll let it be food for thought for you. But I'm sitting at work the other day. And uh, I'm sitting at work. And the vending machine from the angle where I was sitting, you know, about two months ago, I say about two, about two months ago, they put up these slots, you know, when you, you slide your credit card through on the vending machine when you don't have no dollar, but your money is on your card and you slide. Well, all of a sudden, about two months ago, they put up these new slots on vending machines and the slots say, pay ISIS here. But the width is real small in certain in certain uh, on certain vending machines, and I didn't pay no attention to it. And the other day, I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there, and it's like, "Pay ISIS here." And I tell my boy, I say, "Man, ISIS," and then they hit me like a ton of bricks. I'm eating lunch, and I look at this one machine from a side angle, and it said, "Pay ISIS here." And I've always known, uh, with my mind state. The devil knows the best place to hide is in plain sight. Is in plain sight because they know that it, it, some things can be so elementary that people won't believe it. That people won't believe it. And look, I'm going to take this and I'm going to edit it through my movie maker. And I'm going to put the pictures of the vending machines up better. But I'm going to just give you a clue of what I'm talking about. I don't know if y'all can see that, how clear you can see it. That's why I'm going to go on and run it through my editor. But that's one picture. See how I say pay ISIS here? But anyway, I'm going to edit the pictures through there. But, you know, the I want to say the Helgen. I always pronounce that word, this word wrong. It's H-E-G-E-L-I-A-N. Uh, this concept came about and this is big through Freemasonry and with Jesuits they create the problem create the solution and then offer to deal with the solution and then you can come behind and you can they can take control and spread. basically it's like create an enemy start reacting to the enemy in a certain country or land and then you'll be able to come through and set your own rules dictates because you came through like the hero or the savior and took control of that land you create the enemy you'll come up with the solution for that enemy and then you get the power of that land and control and be able to make laws and that is clearly what we're seeing with the bombing I mean, we're, we're bombing civilians in the past. Since 9-11, over, over millions of Iraqi and Afghanistan civilian women, children, and men, innocent, 
have been killed and slain. And it is sad. And I can't help but put myself in their shoes because that could easily be me. I could have been born over there. I didn't have no choice to be born over here in America. That could easily be me. But anyway, I mean, it's so elementary, but it's smart though. Then my friend, I'm telling my friend about it and I show him this, my boy that works with me. Uh, I show him this and he says, Josh, on my phone, this app, added itself a ISIS app a ISIS app on certain smartphones just started adding itself then I had somebody else tell me the girlfriend of mine a friend of mine she said she said yeah I got freaked out by you know I just cut on my phone and all of a sudden I got an ISIS app And it says it's an ISIS wallet. ISIS wallet. It's like PayPal to where if you want to buy something online, you use your ISIS wallet. You know they get a percentage of each one. Well, some might say, well, Josh, what's the big deal? What would they gain out of putting uh, ISIS card slots? On, on all of the machines at your job. Look, my, my job is just one factory, one factory out of a million, and it's over 2,000 workers at my job. Over 2,000 workers at my job. So just imagine, this is each shift. So just imagine all the money that come through those vending machines. We're not just talking about one or two vending machines in some hallway somewhere. We're talking about different several floors upstairs downstairs hungry folk tired folk hot folk food uh three dollar red bulls all this stuff in the vending machines food snacks honey buns and people are buying this each shift at different times and they get a percentage of it all just through my factory alone just through my factory alone i say in one month if say if they just got a 10 percent off off of each swipe off of each dollar that's ran i can imagine about $25,000, $30,000 easy, 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 you know, which is, which is genius when you think about it. And they're so blatant. I tell you, and I tell you, this is the reason why I so heads up. If this was, say if we had an enemy right now, say when Bin Laden was out, and all of a sudden Google or Apple had uh, these apps called Bin Laden Cash. People would have shut that down. They'd be like, how on earth are you going to have Bin Laden apps and he's killing Americans and they're doing this? You can't do it. You know, the public would shut that down. Why is it anybody shutting down this ISIS? Why do we have ISIS PayPal accounts now popping up, automatically upgrading on your phone, things of that nature? You know, the rabbit hole is deeper than when many perceive. And so I just had to take this time out to give people the heads up. Open up your eyes. This is bigger than what we could ever imagine. You know, continue to watch your TV, your sports, things of that nature. But take a second, y'all. Take a second to really think. To really think. Use your mind. You know, it's sad, but they're playing this, <laughs> they're playing this like puppets on the string. They're playing us like puppets on a string. And it's so clear. Like I say, and I'm going to put the pics up. I'm going to have them flashing through while I'm talking. But when you look at it from the side, it say pay ISIS here. Wow. Oh, yeah. Before I forget, talking about that. And another thing, the reason why you know it's false is these are supposed to be, uh, they tell you that it stands, that ISIS stands for Islamic State Syrian something. <laughs> I don't even bother with that because Muslim men, Muslim men, y'all, Isis is an old pagan Egyptian goddess worshipped, still worshipped today by sun worshippers, Illuminati. Yes, this is not no conspiracy theory. This is a fact. Isis, like that big, and Freemasons, that big chain 
of a bird that Kanye had that was Horus. Horus in Egyptian mythology is the son of Isis. He's the son of Isis. And Osiris is the dad. It's, the, it's like the devil's trilogy, you know, the devil's trinity, I mean, the devil's trinity. It is a, uh, those are just other, other names for Nimrod, Semiramis, who was Isis, and Tammuz, all mentioned in the Bible. The Egyptians, of course, being from another land and not being Babylonian or in Babel, just changed the names to Osiris, which is Nimrod, Isis, which is Semiramis, and Horus, which is Tammuz. Now, with Isis, that's where you get Easter, that goddess. That's why you have the rabbits. She's the Greek goddess to the Greeks. She's known as Esther, the Greek goddess of fertility. She's known by many names. Aphrodite. Aphrodite, what is another one? Uh, Vesti. Oops. Yes, oops, I know that sounds funny, but many, many names. In the Bible, she's known as Ashtaroth, Ashtaroth, Diana, uh, the Queen of Heaven. You can go to Jeremiah 7, I believe. I wasn't going to add this in, but Jeremiah 7, I believe. You can go to Jeremiah and you can actually uh, see real clear that she's called the queen of heaven matter of fact let me find out for sure for those who like me and like to do their homework and actually like to do their homework for themselves my daughter loves uh keeping stuff in the bible in my bible i told her that's the safest place to keep stuff because many people don't read it anymore which is sad which is sad because i used to be me also that used to be me also. Okay, but if, if you go to Jeremiah 7, go to Jeremiah 7 and verse 18 says, The children gather wood and the fathers kindle the fire and the women knead their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven, to the queen of heaven. So these Muslim men, if I know Isis is the Egyptian god, is the name of the Egyptian goddess, uh, <laughs> The Egyptian goddess who was married to Osiris, the mother of Horus, then I know they know. And these Egyptian men would not name themselves after a female deity. If anything, it would be Osiris over there beheading everybody right now. Or even Horus. You know, they would they would definitely they would definitely not have the name of Isis. But if this is a group funded and backed by Luciferian sun worshippers. Beloved, Isis all day because Isis is who they put on the pedestal. Semiramis is who they put on the pedestal above all. You know, uh, it even stems to Mary worship, you know. But that is even who the Statue of Liberty is made after. But I'm not going to get into all of that because that's a whole other study. If you would like me to, which I probably am going to do some videos on it since I brought it up uh, to really give you the homework. Well, the and the history, the the factual history behind this all. But anyway, they are playing us, and Americans, we are funding ISIS. Let's not get it twisted. Let's not be so foolish to where we say, well, maybe that's not the the group ISIS. I, it it doesn't go directly over there, but I guarantee it's going into some accounts. The big bankers, they gotta have money to put on card slot machines, to come out with card slots, and then to, to get on phones, Google apps. These are big bankers we dealing with. These are not no little folks. You know, how are they getting all their guns and bullets anyway? Who's really funding them and training them? Y'all have a blessed one. It's time we get close to Christ. We're towards the edge of eternity, y'all. Time is almost over. Take care.